right within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away Good morning. Good morning. It's day four, and we are off to Bush Gardens. Yeah, first stop yeah. petrol. This is our first petrol stop of the trip. We're on quarter of a tank, but Bush Gardens is about an hour away, so we thought we'd get fuel now. We've come to racetrack on the US 27, so it might go and see if we can get a cheeky little drink as well while we're in there. Yeah, I'll maybe an icy. We have a lever for the petrol. Yeah, so we've got to figure out how to do that petrol. Normally petrol is number 87 and you have to go in and pay for it before. So you go in and tell them how much you want and then you come out and then it just fills it up to that is amount. Is it number 87 is it? Usually. I'll have a look in a yeah, second. Like right, let's go and do that. Right, it doesn't actually tell you anywhere on the car whether it's um, unleaded or diesel, but I'm pretty confident that it's unleaded. <laughs> so I love about racetrack, I saw this online. So they have these, um, it's frozen yogurt, but it's all different flavours. And like, I mean, all different flavours, like mint chip. Should we go for the frosted chicken? Nice to try. With some cream, strawberry, cheesecake. It's all your different flavours. And then, so you get your, you can fill up a cone or a tub. And then, you come to the goodie section. And then you can just pop any of these on top of it. So these are the prices. Gonna go for some sprinkles. By the way, it's um, nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you gotta get some pebbles or chuck them all over the floor. <laughs> if you want a coffee, they have you sorted literally probably every type of coffee that you can think of. They're good prices as well. There, 179. This is where you want to come for a drink. Because they're massive. Loads and loads of choice. I'm doing this quite fast because we're in a bit of a rush. And then you've also got like your icy style drinks as well. Okay, so we did pump 87. Oh, there's two, so not that one, this one. This is the current price, that's per gallon. So this shows you see how much it is and it will just go to the amount we put in which is just 20 is what we've done today. Why? Of course it'll stop at 20. We paid 20. That's, that's, how, that's how it works. <laughs> it was going to be that colour, it just really faded. <laughs> One thing to note about Bush Gardens, there's no signs telling you where to go. We got off the I-4 and it said Bush Gardens, but then after that I didn't see a single sign until we've literally got here. We're on the tram! Yeah, I, I don't know, I didn't know there was a tram. I've not really seen that many videos or vlogs or anything when it comes to Bush Gardens, so I don't know too much. Anyone. Really? 
not seen it actually go yet, to be honest. Because if it is close, it means I get out of it. But I'd like to say that I've done Please it. Please remain. We're in! Again, I just showed my tickets on my phone, which I downloaded from um, Florida Ticks? Or Attraction Tickets? I can't remember which one I bought them from. One of them. You don't have to print them out, so it makes things a lot easier. Excited to be here! They sell dipping dots! You can have some today. Yeah? Abby's having some dipping dots today because I kept seeing her look at them at Aquatica yesterday every time we walked past but when you're at a water park you don't carry any money on you do you? Maybe they were closed. The one that was opposite us was closed but there was one that was open but it was further around and every time we were there we didn't have any money with us. We have absolutely no idea where we're going. I'm sure we will find out shortly. That one right in front is Iron Gwazi. That's the brand new one. Oh we lost Abby now. She's seen a shop. And then over there, at the back there, that's Falcon's Fury. That's the drop tower I was talking about. But Jake just said he saw a sign when we come in saying it was closed. I know I said I'd be scared to do it, but I'm a little bit disappointed because I would have liked to have plucked up the courage to do it. That's a bit bad. This is it, this is the brand new one that Jake has been going on and on and on about. I think they actually built it um, and it was ready to open but obviously then Covid hit and they didn't open it. And it just sat there sort of finished for a really long time. We've got the GoPro with us, I'm assuming it's the same rules in Busch Gardens as it is in SeaWorld where you can take um, a GoPro on as long as you have the official GoPro strap which we have. So fingers crossed you'll be able to get some ride footage out of us today. But it's meant to be really good. I'm looking forward to this one. First stop, Lockers. Again, it should be the same as it is at SeaWorld. So, let's have a look. Okay, so rent a locker, multiple use. $10, yeah, exactly the same. Pop in your card to pay, create a PIN number, and then it tells you what your locker is on there. It tells you what time you need to come back and budget cost and please ignore my nails see this is normal nail polish and that's after a water park i forgot to do it i need to do it tonight Now, I don't know. <laughs> we left the stuff in the locker because we get two hours. So we're going to see what's over here and try and get one of those before we go and put the bags and that back up again. Okay. So. Did you like that ride, Iron Gwazi? Yeah. Yeah? My heart rate went right up on that first drop. There's nowhere to hold on to. How do you know your heart rate went up? Because of my watch. My watch is calculating my heart rate went up to a workout. <laughs> and it says fit end workout for three minutes. Oh, yeah. That was good, it was good. So just saying today, I think 
I think potentially that is the most intense roller coaster that I've been on that doesn't like like you know the big loops. That was so yeah, intense. Like, when I say intense roller coaster, I mean one that doesn't make you feel like sick. Yeah. Intense. Because it's so fast and so twisty. I literally could not keep the camera still. Holding on to my glasses. That's the most intense roller coaster I've been on. More intense than um, Blotter Coaster. Yeah. See, we did Velocicoaster in December, so I don't like overly remember it. Velocicoasters, I don't think it's that intense. I just think it's a fun, fun. ride. Yeah. But the people say it's intense because you don't go upside down. Yeah, that's intense. Yeah. That's intense. That's really good, but it's intense. I would say that is a mixture of Ghost Rider in Not Spare in California and Velocicoaster yeah. combined into one. Yeah, I get that. Hey, did you really like it? Better than Velocicoaster. And Mako. And better Ooh, than Mako. Don't know if I'd put it there because I just got a heart for Mako. Oh my god. Look at this. It's a cookie monster lounge fly. Oh my god. Look at this. It's a cookie monster lounge fly. I love that. Let's see how much they are in comparison to Disney. $89.99. What? Still in Disney. Oh, that's cute. I like that. The purses are $50. So they have got a Sesame Street land. I don't know if it's just called Sesame Street. So it's Sesame Street Safari of Fun, apparently. Um, just like SeaWorld. So this is Shikra. You can't see it because it's behind the tree, but it's a little bit like, like the first bit is like Oblivion at Alton Towers. Jake has now conquered. It was one of those ones he was always scared to do. There's one about to come down. Is there two drops? On oh yeah, there is, isn't there? One over there as well. I don't know where it goes after that. Oh, it's over there. There's a splash zone. Oh yeah, there's a second drop. Oh, he didn't get wet. That boy got really wet. Yeah. You chickened out. She saw it coming, she like, quick. She's like, no, no. We're doing it. We're gonna go on that one, I just showed you. Said it's a 10 minute wait. Okay, it's definitely my type of queue line. That's it, right there. Oh, 
after a disappointing log flume, we're going to go on Tigris, which is pretty good. Yeah, I guess so. like ice breakers did. I think it ruins it. They no, do like hurt. The did you like, you like the seatbelt though? No, not the seatbelt. The ride's fun. The ride's fun. The ride is fun, but the seatbelt would ruin it for me. Abby said that they hurt her. She hurt her ear putting it on. They're just, I don't know. I think it's a combination of it being quite tricky to get on. The heat, because obviously you're really hot and sweaty anyway. And it, well, things always seem a little bit harder when you're really sweaty. Um, but yeah, it's a good ride. I just don't like the seatbelt. I don't know what I recorded because I was holding one at one point and I think I had the camera sideways. So we'll see what that looks like when um, when I come to watch that back. But I think we're going to go and get our bag and then get something to eat. What are we getting something to eat? Yeah, I don't know what, we, what we're having. Look at the orangutans. I love monkeys. I was just saying, if I could have a pet monkey, I would. Hi, yeah, says you can't see me. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to go and try Chick fil A, and there's one here. It's perfect. Our first Chick fil A, so we got nuggets and waffle fries, and um, that all individual. So, this is eight nuggets, and that was about nine dollars for eight nuggets. <laughs> $9. Yeah, that's like nine dollars for that, <laughs> and they're like five dollars each for something. That would have been sixty dollars if we'd all got like that each without any drinks. What's it like? A good nugget? Is it better than a McDonald's nugget? No. Is anything better than a McDonald's nugget? No. No. Okay, so Chick Fil A was really nice, but it was not worth the money at all. Thirty dollars for 16 tiny chicken nuggets and two relatively small things of fry. But if we'd all had a meal each, it would've been $60. 60 for that. that much. What's not that much? No, we didn't, no, it wasn't much food. Um, but we are going out for dinner oh later God. and we just decided to have something small. So in that sense, it was fine. But if we were like proper hungry, no, wouldn't have cut it. We would have had to. We would have had to get too. more. About to ride the river rapids, the Congo River rapids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got that one. You got it done. 
for me. so much so Ian's gone to Rob Look, see if we can find a t-shirt he got the worst he definitely got the worst of it absolutely dripping we're going out for dinner tonight and it's just started raining which means we're probably going to get wetter <laughs> Happy just wants a cup of water the wasps are not letting her it's a lot of wasps Good luck trying to get an Oh, yeah, we have to come back. This is Falcon's yeah. Fury. Rain. I was, I was really excited to go on that as well. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I was excited to do a combo. It's close. So, Ian's saying now that he was going to go on this if it was on, but funnily enough, it's not on. Going so, to go on it. we're going to come back then? That's why we're here. Yeah? Yes, please come back. So, we come back especially to okay, ride it. Have we? Yeah, we can make time. time. We can make time to see you go on that well, and poop your pants well who knows might see me go on there jake's going on it too yeah no, you anyway, I've been on it. no you haven't you liar i've been on it in my sleep <laughs> <laughs> would you go on it face down when you go down that is so good i know oh, it's scary but look how high it is that is much much higher than um not very. No, it's not. That is a lot that higher than not very. That's like Dominator. Dominator? You mean Detonator? That's what I said. Nothing like a Detonator. Okay. That's about like four times the size of Detonator. Don't be too My god. Yo! Where's the lightning? All of Abby's dreams have come true. Dipping dots! Actually, no, her dreams haven't come true. I told you don't let her have any until it's further down because it's Jake and he'll knock the whole lot out. If your dreams had come true, I would have let you get one each. But $11 for that, I'm not buying two. Ian's come over here to Kenya Canteen to get funnel cake. There is your menu. You've got funnel cake Sunday and walking food Sunday. All the rides are closed due to the weather and there's lightning in the air. I mean, it was raining a little bit a second ago, but it's actually stopped now, so hopefully it will pass. Did you get wet? Is it still raining? So it doesn't really help that I'm standing under an umbrella, so I don't know. Yeah, hopefully they're reopen again in a minute. It is quarter to four, so we've got two hours and 15 minutes left. So if they open by four, we'll have time to run around and to get the other ones done. Yeah. Got plenty of time. Here's the funnel cake, strawberries, whipped cream, ice cream, and funnel cake. How much was it in total? Fourteen dollars. Ouch. Yeah. Nice. Mm hmm. Good. It moved. All oh, the thunder. Ian thinks that's a real owl. It just moved. It literally just moved. No, it didn't. Yes, that's why I shouted. It moved. No, it didn't. I'm so zoomed in right now. <laughs> I can tell. It's just a massive hit. It's just because you went like that. <laughs> No. It literally just moved its head. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. It, did. it is not a real owl. Two of us saw it. You're seeing things. It's two against one. Jake doesn't matter in this conversation. I'm sorry, that's not a real owl. It is. No. Well, if you've been to Bush Gardens before and that owl has been sat in the same place, let me know. That is not a real owl. It's a real owl. It's not. Why would there in be just an owl there? Yeah, duh. No, so it won't be. It'll be like Ian, duh, and all of your family are stupid. What? <laughs> Ow! What? Ow! <laughs> it's it's real. real. It's not. We're gonna come back here in two hours, and it'll still be there, facing exactly the same way. Ow! Look at that! Just right there. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
when he saw something go rig because he kind of made a beeline, didn't he? <laughs> that was loud thunder. So the truck is on the outside of the glass. It's also on the inside of the glass. Very fat here. Interested in the free park admission, tickets for friends, and amazing discounts? These are just some of the perks you'll experience working at Bush Gardens. Found the giraffe. There's Pokemon. There's Pokemon loads Pokemon of them. Oh, yeah. I thought you said Pokemon over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one's coming over. Where? Oh. I don't get I have just got a cookie. Oh, that one's coming out of the rock. I love giraffes. They're one of my favourites. I thought you were going to say bat. I already told you, didn't I? I want a giraffe. I don't want a giraffe. Is that a giraffe just comes Those gorillas right is mine. Over. I could sit and watch gorillas all day long. We haven't seen them yet. Hello. It's all finally. You all left to see the, come and see us from the lion. So cute. We'll pause for a photo. <laughs> <laughs> My god, it's massive! I only ever see hippos in the water. I never see them when they're out of the water. Wow. Hungry, hungry hippo. It's a hungry hippo. He's winning because he's eating all the grass. Imagine if it was underwater, it was right in here. Jake's desperate to go on this one, but it's closed. It's not even raining, but we do keep on seeing lightning and there is still thunder. Which is yesterday. such a shame. I'm just wandering around at the moment and just hoping that stuff might reopen. Just not overly confident that it is. If they do reopen them and we haven't got a lot of time, what's your... Bush Gardens. You Montu, are at Bush Gardens, Jake. Like, <laughs> Kia Hunt, Montu, Iron Gossi, Iron Gossi, and Well, what if you only had five minutes and you could only go on one? Are you going on Iron Gossi again or one of these? Yeah. Well, we can see the sun, which is a good thing. Is this our first alligator? Where do you see two? In front there. In there. Oh, in there. Behind the bush. Yeah, another one's appeared there. There is another one here. Actually, you can just about make it out on the camera. That's big. That is big. Yeah. I want one of them to stick their tails. Going off for a little swim. So, we've been waiting two hours. Yeah. They've just reopened Cheetah Hunt. I'm assuming they've reopened everything. But um, this one just reopened, so they quickly shoved our stuff in the locker. And we've come straight in. So. We've got 24 minutes till it closes. So I think we've ever put stuff in the locker that fast. We might get another ride in, maybe. Or this might be it. We will let you know. Oh, what ride is this one? Cheetah Hunt. We're not recording it, haven't we left the GoPro in the locker. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've just done Chia Hunt. We have got 10 minutes and I think it's Jake wants to try Iron Gwazi. Is that where we're going, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I was a good ride. No, I look pretty short next to you. <laughs> that was a good ride though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a good ride. So one more ride of the Iron Gwazi. Well, what do we think of that one then? I honestly, right, Velocicoaster is pretty intense, okay? Go on this. Velocicoaster is not anywhere near as intense as this roller coaster. Is it? It, it does hold you upside down. For it's a bit the most well. intense ride. You can tell by your hair. Yeah, is it got that? I was, it's so good. That's why I didn't take the camera on with me. I didn't have my glasses on so I could really enjoy it, but it's so good and it's so intense. And Jake, double thumbs up. Yeah. Let's do it twice, start yeah. and end of the day. Yeah. It's funny actually, the person that was sat behind us, they were on it the first time we went on it as well. Yeah, they've been, yeah, on, they've been on it. Most rides. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. yeah. Jem, what in the tram? Disney, but I do love the tram. Right. So what are we doing now then? I don't think I've shown you our car. So this is our car. It's with Avis, and it's an E Group car. So this is the size you are looking at getting. Modelled by Abigail. Very nice. <laughs> Oh, now modelled by Ian. Apologies, they're stuck in the boot, but this is the size of the boot. Oh, I'll, I'll demonstrate. You can demo okay. We look like we're kidnapping you. I'll demonstrate. Oh my god. <laughs> no, in properly. I bet it's hot in there. Yeah, so it's big enough for a teenager, probably big enough for an adult as well. So pretty large, so lots of room to get your cases in. Here we are at Cheesecake Factory, look at that cloud. Get in before it rains. So we're at Cheesecake Factory in Brandon, which is at Westfield. Yes, Westfield, like London. Wow. I know, wow. Um, which was 23 minutes from Bush Gardens. I think the closest ones that are kind of in Orlando are more millennia and then there's a new one kind of I drive area I think so they are further away than from our villa so it's easier and quicker to come here. Yes yeah, the same as London. Okay change of plan we're actually going to have a look in here first um, I did have an appointment appointment I did have a reservation booked for eight o'clock which I changed to 7 15 it's actually still eight o'clock on their system and it's quarter past eight no it's quarter past seven now so we're gonna have a look in here because there's a shop that me and abby really want to go to so i need to have a look to see if i can find it and then oh ian they got fit to run here as well well i didn't expect to come in the shopping center this evening we've got a double carousel in a shopping center <laughs> ian's smelling the simple one Oh, look, Bath and Body Works. Oh, yeah. That's actually not the shop we've come in here for. So I think we're going to go around to the shop we have come in here for. And then um, we're going to go in there. So Abby got some crocs before we came out here. And now we found like the ultimate collection of these little, what are they called? Giblets. 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 <laughs> That's not the right word. Abby, I think they're five dollars. Well, it says four ninety nine charms and up. It's not really that obvious how much they actually are. I'm not sure. The US flag. Abby, you can get a light switch. A little cactus guy. Oh, like the palms. A flamingo. Uh, flamingo. Yeah. Abby. Flamingo. Ooh. Send some more of your money. I've got four. <laughs> four and you got a massive bag. <laughs> Wait. Look. What? Are oh, you working out your money? Sixty-one dollars left. Oh. oh. Right. Now I don't know where it is now. From where we are. Maybe down here. This is the shop that we're looking for. We were going to go all the way to the Florida Mall for this, and it's here, so perfect. What were you looking for? 
like Disney stuff, lounge fly stuff. Oh, look at the little one, little stitch. Just wanted to see what they had, and I think I've seen that they're meant to have Stranger Things stuff. So have a look around, see what you can find. It's a huge lounge fly bag. Like compared to like standard size. Oh, it's a little one. That's no white. I don't know about their uh, feather. Oh, look. That's this. Yeah, that's massive. How much is this? $69 as well. That's not bad. What else we got? Coco. That's not lounge fly though, I don't think. Aww. Dogs? Uh... Why can't I think what this is? It's not something I've watched. Brave. Never seen a brave one before. These really? are what I'm looking for. Look at this. Oh my god, I love it. My god, Look. she loves it. <laughs> <laughs> Much is it? 39. So pretty. She's gonna basically just show you all the lounge fly bags. There's more out there as well. Can tell them how much these are? These 1690? 1690. Maybe, maybe. I've got the stitch one in my hand. Oh, I'm not done. Am I mermaid? Uh, yes. Look at the Donald one at the bottom. Mm. Oh, fluffy. Oh, the buzz one. Oh, it's got the singer as well. Oh, that's cute. That I like that. Lovely. How much is that? $79, that one. I've still found the hoodie one. Oh, no. Right. That's not lounge fly, is it? I don't like that one. Oh, that's cute. These are huge bags. No, it's a different, it's um, cute little universe. Oh, I think some of these are lounge flies and some of them aren't. So many, so much choice. I suppose it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? <gasps> yep. Okay. Halloween shop is now open. Ooh. So these are our seasonal candles. There's one there, it smells like waffles. Wow. We've got here autumn s'mores. You know what that smells like. That sounds like that would be good. So this is what we're here for. Hand Wait, soaps. No, soaps. Hand soaps. You want hand soaps? Yeah, hand sanitizers and hand soaps I want. Like the ones we had at home because we've used it all up, haven't we? We've got like five minutes until it shuts, so I'm gonna put the camera down because I need to look. Okay, just a quick recording of all the Halloween ones. How much? Even though when you're in a cheesecake factory, it all looks so similar. Oh, we're back to a proper menu. When we went in um, in California, they just it was just on the phone. And it was a really limited menu, so I'm gonna have to sit here now and read this for half an hour because it's the biggest menu in the world. See, more food, food, drinks, no extras, food, loads of food. Food's arrived. So what have you got? Fish fries. Cheeseburger. Jay's yeah. got the same because you know he hasn't had enough cheeseburgers this holiday already. <laughs> and then me and Ian have got the nachos. And then also we've got southern fried chicken sliders. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna share these two, aren't we? It's good. I literally cannot take them anywhere. What are you doing? My new one. Sorry? My new one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get I'm, I'm moving out of the way. I'm not part of this game. <laughs> Jake, you're going to get wet if you're going to get involved. <laughs> Were you disappointed, Jake? Were you disappointed when you realised I gave you your other hoodie? <laughs> yeah. Okay, he said he wanted a hoodie, so I gave him his one in the boot. And he goes, my oh, no new one.
God. Do you want to go home at any point? I was doing so well remembering to end the vlog every night. Last night we were playing pool and Ian's like, the right oh, to don't forget to, to end the vlog. I said, oh, I've right. done really well. I've done them every time. And then I forgot. And then I forgot, so apologies, it's now the next day. Um, yesterday was a very good day, um, Bush Gardens was really good, the coasters didn't make me have a headache, which was brilliant. Um, it was such a shame that the, the weather came in and we kind of missed like two hours. What did you say it was two hours? About two hours. About two hours of being able to go on the rides, but it did mean we, get, we, we got to walk around the zoo, which was quite good because I don't think we would have had the opportunity to if uh, not. I don't think we're going to be able to get back there on this trip. Um, if we do, great, and then we'll go and do the other coasters that we haven't done. It was a really good day though, definitely give Bush Gardens a go, and as I've said before, Iron Gwazi, that is the most intense coaster I think I've ever been on. And then Cheesecake Factory last night was really good, really enjoyed it, um, it ended up being quite late that we ended up getting back to the villa, um, so we decided to play a few rounds of pool. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment down below. Let us know what you thought. And let us know if you've been to Bush Gardens before and you've enjoyed it. And obviously, what was your favourite coaster? Um, I'll always read your comments and I'll always reply to them as well. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, then please do hit the subscribe button. And also hit the notification bell so you know next time we upload a video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away